arriving in Messina, Sicily. It appears the rain is following us. This is crazy weather for the Med in summer. The port of Messina is right next to the city, so we disembarked and walked over. Our usual habit of finding a good cup of coffee was allayed by the fact that the coffee port on this ship had great coffee. Messina is known as the city without a history, as it was almost completely destroyed by an earthquake and massive tsunami in 1908. Some buildings, including the Catholic Church of the Announcement of St. Mary, survived. Though clearly not completely. The fun train in the rain is one way to keep dry. We headed to Piazza del Duomo, Cathedral Square. On the hill above, another church dedicated to St. Mary overlooks the city. But the main attraction is the clock tower of the cathedral. Down here in the square, we all await noon. The bell tower holds the Messina Astronomical Clock one of the largest astronomical clocks in the world, built in 1933. The Belfry's mechanically animated statues perform every day at noon, and everyone's gathered to see it. The astronomical clock just went on, we watched it, and now I'm trying to find my father. Wonderful place, very nice place, enjoyed that. Inside the cathedral is beautiful, with an ornately decorated wooden ceiling. and 28 tall Gothic columns, making it an impressive sight. The cathedral also containing a massive pipe organ. There's a beautiful diorama of rural life as part of a nativity scene in here. A kind of genre diorama, if there is such a thing, that's my definition. Depictions of life, in this case, on the day Jesus was born. And life goes on all around. People having a chat, 
selling some bread. Even the wise men are there, the shepherds, the neighbors, and a few heavenly beings. Fascinating. Jesus born into the midst of everyday lives. Powerful. Well, it's been raining, but we still had a very nice time looking around the cathedral and one or two little parts here. Wish we had more time, but uh, still an enjoyable few minutes. Actually, we were only given two hours here because of the tight schedule. As it turned out, the ship's tour bus didn't make it back in time and we sat on the ship for two hours waiting for it, wishing we could have spent more time in the city. So we missed out on Pompeii and Messina. The Latin inscription under the statue of the Virgin Mary, I bless you and your city. It's a quote from a letter the Virgin Mary sent to the population of Messina in the year 42. According to popular legend, the Virgin Mary presented a letter to the people who visited her in Palestine in 42 AD. Apparently, the actual letter written in Hebrew is in the cathedral. So alas, we spent more time waiting for the ship to leave than we did in the city. Eventually, we were sailing away to the city of Dubrovnik, my fourth visit, but a wonderful place, and we're really looking forward to it, and especially praying for sunshine. Tonight is the captain's banquet, and so we're all dressed up. It's always a good meal. And so we sailed around the foot of Italy and up to Croatia. Croatia. 